To begin here, Frankie, we're gonna start with the most basic part of Medicare, which is when do I need to sign up for my Medicare benefits? Yeah, well, thanks, Dan. As you know, October 15th starts the annual election period for Medicare, and there's a lot to know. So Medicare is a big decision, and it's important to understand um, the ins and outs of making the best choice. And so when you need to sign up for Medicare, uh, when you're first eligible at 65, you get a one time in, and then it's called your initial election period. So it starts three months before your birthday month, the month of, and three months after. So you really get seven months to sign up um, for your initial Medicare. Um, so that's kind of where we're, we stand at this point. Okay, so they give you some months before, month of, months after. Yep. So that's kind of when we turn 65. And I think that's when a lot of people really get bombarded with these infomercials, things in the mail. And so, um, but we find a lot of people are working past the, or maybe are still working at the age of 65. So if I'm still working and I'm 65 years old and I'm covered by an employer's health insurance plan, or maybe I'm covered by my spouse's uh, health insurance plan from their employment, do I still need to sign up for Medicare if I'm still covered by other insurance at the age of 65? Yeah, so that is a really great question. So if you're still employed by your own employer or your spouse employer, you do not have to sign up for Medicare's Part A or Part B. As long as they're credible coverage and you get notice of that every single year, um, you will not have any pre any penalties um, associated with that. So just at least a couple months before you go to retire, you got to to file for parts A and part B. And then there's a, a little caveat about uh, HSA. If you're gonna participate in a health savings account, you can't do that and also have Medicare parts A or B. Um, so there's a lot of little things to know about that. And so you just contact us and kind of walk you through that. Yeah, I think that's a big one. Not being eligible to contribute to the HSA if you sign up for Medicare, even the free one, can, can cause you to be ineligible for those triple tax-free benefits that are yes. uh, given by the HSA, which is great. So just because you turn 65, you don't necessarily want to go ahead and turn on Medicare. You know, we find people that, well, I'm just going to go ahead and do it so it's behind me so I don't forget, but there can be some negative consequences actually to turning on Medicare at age 65. Um, just real quick to go back to one thing, Frankie, um, you said so let's say that I'm 67 years old and I'm going to retire in a few months. Uh, I've not turned on or signed up for Medicare. You said you need to sign up a couple months before or can I sign up for Medicare after I retire and not be penalized or like kind of give a little more um, around that specifically? Because that's a big question we get uh, here at our office. Yeah, so Social Security has 60 days to process your Medicare enrollment. And so you don't want to have a lapse in coverage. And so you want to make sure you get that done in time, get your 11-digit ID number, because that's what we really need to process your enrollment. And what happens is, is if you don't, then it doesn't um, verify with Medicare, and then everything has to kind of start all over again. So that's very important that you get that done in a timely manner so there's no lapse in coverage. Okay, so we do need to sign up before you actually do yes. retire to make sure we have all that. Okay, um, so let's talk about uh, what happens if I don't sign up for Medicare at the age of 65. And again, this is with that caveat of, the, and I don't have other health insurance that will cover me. So assuming I'm retired, I hit 65, um, what happens if I don't sign up for Medicare? Um, there'll be a 10% penalty for the rest of your life based on for every full 12 month period that you didn't have uh, credible coverage. Oh, so, so don't do it. So don't do it. <laughs> so make sure you, you sign up uh, in advance. I think that's a big one. Um, if you'd like to meet or talk with Frankie about any Medicare questions or your Medicare options, if you need help planning for Medicare coming up, um, you can give us a call. We'll give you a free consultation, 615 488 3039. Uh, thanks for watching today. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe for more valuable insights regarding retirement planning just like this.